That's me, a few days ago, still perfectly alive. And this is my partner. They say dogs don't have perception of time, so for him, it is then when we're still together. Doing one of our daily walks, patrolling the neighborhood. Happy times, especially for him. For me, sometimes a pain in the ass, but at least I get my ass to move. There is no excuse. Before bed and first thing in the morning, there's no excuse of being sick, drunk or hungover. The dog needs to go for a walk. Sometimes you can try and cheat and do a quickie, but he's smarter than that. He knows if you try to rush him to have a dump, he just won't do it. Not even to take a piss. Proper urinating takes time effort and legwork. Otherwise, you get punished. Well, actually, the carpet gets punished. That's why I don't have carpets anymore. So we walk instead. In fact, I took him anywhere and everywhere I could. I lived in a downtown two-bedroom apartment. Not ideal for a dog, but we manage. I don't think a big house with a large garden would make much of a difference. This fellow follows me everywhere. It's like having a shadow. Even in the complete dark, you can be sure he's right behind you. And sometimes it'd be pretty annoying. Embarrassing. <laughs> Even scary. You know, I've not watched TV alone for a decade. Wife? I managed to escape that. I sure could to divorce. Tesla said no one ever invented anything significant who had a wife. I love Tesla. What a genius. I like to believe I'd invent something every day. Besides my life, I owned a small boutique agency. So I worked a lot from home. Can't think and concentrate in an office environment with people around. I need to be alone. And I am. It's one of my greatest achievements. Hi, Cynthia. How's it going? No, I, d I don't think I'll be in today. I need to finish the Rossman pitch. Okay, you, you guys go ahead. <laughs> Tell Eddie I need the strategy for the Koreans before the end of today. And then tomorrow, you and him can work on the creatives. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. Dump that on the interns, right? Give them, yeah. And, and don't forget, Thursday is a big day. I need everybody on board. I don't want to hear any sore throats, period pains, or dead uncles, or any of that bullshit. Okay. Oh yeah, that time I didn't guess I'd be the one that didn't make it on Thursday. It was Monday, and after feeding the dog I felt a bit shaky and started to sweat. I thought I needed some carbs, so I ordered a family-sized pizza. And it came quickly, and smelt so good. Still shaking a bit, I put on an old episode of Mad Men. I didn't see it coming, but it did, and it came very fast. I'd had some panic attacks before, but this time there was no time to panic. Clotted veins, a small strike of electricity in my chest, like a fuse just tripped and the heart stopped. Soon, the signal reached my brain, and as they say, the lights went out. No sound, no smell of double cheese. Not sure how long it took to realize I was dead, but the pizza was gone. Normally, he would never touch food from my table. It's rule number one, established from day one. This rule was broke today. Probably he knew that it's not my table anymore. 
I was gone. Time stopped then and there. So I don't know how long I could have been laying there. But looking at the state of me, it must have been three to four days at least. I was considerably fine resting there in peace. But meanwhile, the dog was going through a tough time. I don't think he understood why I don't pet him. Why I don't move. Why I'm so cold and smelly and why his dinner's not coming. I would have loved to explain it to him this time, but there was not much I could do. Days were passing and the pizza was wearing off and his stomach was getting desperately empty. Smart as he was, he managed to find some dripping tap I was not even aware of. It took a bit of work, but at least he could manage his thirst. But his hunger was getting unbearable. So... Before I totally expired, I thought I could have some use of this flesh I'd occupied for 59 years. I tried to talk to him, but now he was alone. He had to be smart. He had only one chance to survive. It was his instinct. And his instinct had to draw him to me one last time. Good boy. Now you'll be okay for a while. 